Good Monday afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson with 13 News Now. Here's your tropics update as of September 23rd. And we're tracking potential tropical cyclone nine right now in the Caribbean Sea, but forecast to move into the Gulf before landfall somewhere around Florida. Now, what we're talking about with PTC nine is that it has sustained winds of 30 miles per hour, gust up to 40. Forecast to become tropical storm Helene by late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Morning before becoming a cat one hurricane between Mexico and Cuba by Wednesday morning. This system takes what would be Helene through the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, the Hurricane Center believes that this should make landfall as a cat two hurricane sometime between Thursday morning and Thursday night between the Panhandle and the Big Bend of Florida. Now, this system takes this turn to the west as it gets swept up in what would be an upper level system. So for us here in the mid Atlantic, what we're talking about is increased moisture from what would be Helene, but we're not talking direct impacts. Most of those direct impacts will be for the Gulf of Mexico and places around the Gulf Coast heading into Georgia and parts of the mid south. Now the spaghetti models have been in very good agreement even before this system was named PTC nine. But look how tight they are together. The tighter these spaghetti model and plots are the better agreement and the better consensus is around the track of this system. All of them taking them through Florida before going through parts of Georgia. So let's take you through future cast. This is the graph model as it spins up this system. This is Wednesday morning where the hurricane center believes this will become Hurricane Helene. As you see a pretty defined center of this system before it increases in intensity moving through the eastern Gulf of Mexico. It's going to tap into some Really warm water, so that will help to build this system. But that only takes us through Thursday morning. So we have to look at some of the global models to take it further. And again, the models agree that it should make landfall somewhere in Florida before going through Georgia. Now, what's the impact of what would be Helene by late tonight to early tomorrow morning? Well, for the U.S., we're talking hurricane force winds in parts of Florida, even maybe extending into southern Georgia, life threatening storm surge and with any tropical system we have the potential for brief spin up tornadoes as that system rotates and those outer bands rotate around that center of low pressure. So again this is PTC 9 we are keeping a big eye on this system but we're also tracking one that just emerged off of the African coast that could become a tropical system as well. Right now the hurricane center gives this system a high chance of development over the next week as it makes its way into parts of the uh, eastern and then central Atlantic. But this is so far away. We're just keeping an eye out for this to see if this becomes our next name system after what would maybe be Helene by late tonight to early tomorrow morning. But even if the system was to continue its trek through the central Atlantic, making it to the western Atlantic, this is so far away that we have a good at least week and a half, two weeks to keep an eye out for this system. For all updates on the tropics, head to 13newsnow.com. For 13 News Now, I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson.